To create something like this, most of Revit users will take modeling place tool. But even though it could work well, it cannot be reused in other projects. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the way of creating Revit family, which will help you to use the same element in as many projects as you want. You will realize the power of 2D profiles and this way of doing things can open you a completely new way of thinking and solving modeling problems. But before I move to Revit, I would like to invite you to join our community where we are going to have a free Revit workshop from 16 to 23rd of September. It's free to join and the access link is in a video description. So the first thing I'm going to do in Revit will be to make this profile. And to do that, I need to go to the file and I need to pick a proper family template, which in this case is going to be this metric profile. And by the way, as you can see, we have two reference plane. And if I open the picture, I will assume that the intersection of those two reference plane is this point here. So let's say that this is the center, left, right, and this is the center top down. And what I need to do next is to create one more reference plane, which is going to determine me the width of our profile and then one more which is going to determine me the top so this is going to be the width and then this is going to be the height so in Revit just go here to reference plane and when uh, make one like this and one like this take the mention tool so this is our first width profile and this is our height profile and what I can do I can just select this dimension and I can create a parameter which is called height and I can make this one to be a width and what I can also do I can just go here and then I can make that the height is let's say 1.5 meters and the width is 6 uh, 60 uh, 600 millimeters the next thing I'm going to do will be to create lines so I will go here We'll took pick lines and then when you pick the reference planes, it's quite, it's quite important just to lock those lines over the reference planes. And also here, but for this one, we can take split element and then I can take line again and I can just create the offset of, let's say, 80 millimeters. Take a trim tool. and make your profile to look like this. So what I will do next will be take a dimension tool and I can just make the thickness of our profile and I will select those dimensions and will make a parameter out of it, which is going to be called thickness. And let's just uh, see if everything works well. So if I decrease thickness to 50, it works and if I make this to 1.2 meters 450 so this seems fine I can go to 1.8 for example 600 and yeah we can we can leave it like this this is okay and just before we proceed uh, I recommend you to save the family and then I'm going to go to file again and we'll create a new family template and in this case it's going to be generic model line based then i'm going to load our profile family into this new family which is called family 2 and i'm going to create a sweep so pick this pet lock it and take a line tool and then align those points these ends of this sweep path to the to those reference planes and once you're done just go here and then i can pick this profile i just made so let's open a 3d view for a family so you see how it look like and just click done so we have this and by the way what i would like to do in this family too in this line based family is to go here to the families 
and then I'm going to open this family and I'm going to create those parameters inside the second family, inside the line based family. So I will just click on those small squares here. We'll create new parameter and then this is height. So I'm just going to name this as H. So just the first letters. Thickness will be T. while width will be w and then i'm going to create a new project so by the way just before i load this family into the project i'm going to save this So you see it's 100 bench and then I'm going to load this family into the project and I cannot place it so just go here place on a work plane and then just place the line so it works that simply and if I would like to let's say place the wall behind it and if I just make two small walls here so it looked like on a picture and let me create a 3d view for our project file i will turn off annotation categories so here when i select the element there is one good option so you see that we can level up that from our host so from level one so if i just put 600 it will level up 600 and then if i select those two walls i can just make the height of it 600 and by the way it's very easy to manipulate with this because I can even from 3D move this one or just make it up to here. So it's quite simple and you can once you select it always see its length. And what's more important, if you go here to the edit type, you will be able to, let's say, decrease its height or just to make it on 2.1 to decrease this thickness or to decrease or actually increase now to decrease this uh, seating bench and just one more thing if you let's say as i did make everything to have one width but if you take a closer look at a picture you will see that this width here and then this one are not the same so okay what's going on if you would like to fix it so i can anytime go here and make this as a save as file so i can just make this as a profile o2 for example and i will create one more reference plane we'll create new parameter and then i can call this parameter as a width 2. so select this one and then just move it a little bit remove constraint take a line tool and align this to here lock it that's quite important and then now if i go here and if i just make this to be let's say 400 you see that it follows and i can again load this family but i can actually now again go here to the bench and then i'm going to save as this one as well so this is going to be bench 02 for example and then I will just load this one into the bench 02. So now here, if I go to edit sweep, I can just replace this with a profile 02. And then I can go to this profile 02 and I can, let's say height take H. I can for thickness take T. I can for width take w and for the second width i will create the new parameter which is we call like the width 2 w2 and let's load this into the project so now here in the project i have this one which is bench 100 but i can replace it with the second bench so you see and then I can just place this 2.1 meters or I can just make this 450, this 
650 I can make this to 60 so you see that it works well so you saw how simple this method was and just creating uh, different uh, profiles will really give you possibility to create different elements and let's say that you can in a very short amount of time create a lot of different elements which you will be able to reuse in all your Revit projects. Thank you very much for watching and if you would like to know more about the family creations in Revit and understanding 2D profiles just take a look at this tutorial.